Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we've got sonnet 64, which, uh, fair warning, it's a bit of a downer. It reads, When I have seen by time's fell hand defaced the rich proud cost of outworn buried age, when sometime lofty towers I see down raised and brass eternal slave to mortal rage, when I have seen the hungry ocean gain advantage on the kingdom of the shore and the firm soil win of the watery main, increasing store with loss and loss with store. When I have seen such interchange of state or state itself confounded to decay, ruin hath taught me thus to ruminate. The time will come and take my love away. This thought is as a death which cannot choose, but weep to have that which it fears to lose. So this touches on a lot of the same themes that we've heard before. Again, this is about the um, Shakespeare or the speaker's love of the fair youth or the listener, whoever that happens to be. We're just going to say fair youth because why not? Um, that's what all the experts say. And and again, this is talking about how time wears everything away and sort of the, the endless marching on towards death. But he's talking about how all of these things that you never expected to go away can actually go away. If you think about it, a wave crashing on the shore, the wave can overtake the shore and you get floods, or the wave can pull the sand back out to sea and erode the land. So you would think of the sea and the land as being sort of fixed things, but they can wear each other away and, and ebb and flow and all that kind of thing. So what he's saying, you know, he talks about that and he also talks about you know buildings and statues and stuff like that crumbling and being destroyed. So things, things that people would expect to have some degree of permanence aren't permanent is what he's saying and he says that when he sees those permanences disappear in front of him it reminds him that his love the fair youth is also someday not going to be around anymore the fair youth is one day going to die the same as everybody else and oftentimes at the end of the sonnets there's there's a like a, a change of, of tone or a change of thought or some sort of flip, which I believe they call a volta. This one to me doesn't really seem to have one because the last two lines just sort of wallow in the fact that the fair youth is going to die. It's saying, you know, this, the thought that you're going to die makes me sad and makes me cry. And no, I didn't mean to make that rhyme. <laughs> but but yeah, so that's that's sonnet sixty four. It's a it's a sad rumination on how time time basically destroys everything, and it's going to destroy the fair youth as well. Dun dun dun. Anyway, come on back tomorrow for sonnet sixty five. I'll see you then. Mwah.